Hardware science is a passion of our company in getting engaged with young students and giving them the ability or opportunity to do things with their hands. Simple science experiments uh, and in the process what we want to do is uh, draw out of them creative, that creative thinking process. You know, a lot of people think science is, is a subject that for them is say, I'm not good in science or I don't know science. But really, science is a process of, of, of thinking of a problem, analyzing the problem, thinking of a solution, finding the solution and solving the problem or not solving the problem and coming to a conclusion. It's, it's a great program for Ace Hardware as a local community hardware store to get engaged with the community, uh, with the schools, the students, young parents, and in uh, being a differentiator in how the student or the family see the hardware store. Our goal with Ace Hardware is to bring young students coming into the store to get engaged doing simple science experiments using the everyday hardware items and bringing along a young parent to come in the store with their young student. Those two generations of customer, customers right now are not ACES core customers. ACES core customer happens to be a 50 to 60 year old male. Um, and one of the challenges in ACE is to find a way of attracting younger groups of families uh, into the store. Kids have veered off from doing things like uh, fixing their lawnmower, doing car repairs, um, getting their hands and just fooling around, taking things apart and putting it together. And so what we're trying to do is get kids back started again in just simple uh, experiments using their hands and getting comfortable doing things. Um, you know, our goal is really to start with kids either in elementary, um, ideally it's a child around fourth grade, 10 years old is when children can first process critical thinking. Um, we can start them earlier from kindergarten and in the earlier grades to just get them interested in science but it's really at about 10 years old that they are able to start the critical thinking process. So lots of our projects are geared toward between 10 and 15 years old. And I think lots of time there's an attitude like, why should we? I mean, the customer's already coming in to shop the store. Um, we sell hardware items. They're doing it for home fix it, home repair, maintenance issues. Um, you know, this customer is not coming in the store. I think it's a commitment and passion that as a community business and as a business that services community, we really want to get engaged in looking at, okay, how do we develop a next generation of students of our community so that they have a little bit more confidence, ability to solve their own problems and do things. And people have asked this question, well, how do you start? It's a very slow start. You have to have patience, you have to have a willingness, and you have to have this engagement that your goal is to bring the students in the store with their young families over a period of time. And the best way I've told other store owners to start is on a Saturday, put your table out, take one of the experiments from the hardware science book and just do a demonstration. In the first week, because no one's familiar with it, you know, you won't have anyone at your table. But if you do this week after week, by about the fourth, fifth, sixth week, you're gonna have people start stopping by and asking, what are you doing? What's the purpose of it? And you start explaining, you know, really trying to get young kids back engaged in doing these simple science experiments and doing things with their hands. And slowly a parent will bring a child or a child might be wandering in a store that might stop. And from there, it picks up a slow momentum of kids coming in. Um, at our height, you know, we've, we've had a store have between 20 and 30 kids coming in every Saturday to just participate in hardware science. And so you try to imagine having 20, 30 kids and the parents of 20, 30 kids at that event. Um, it creates for us a differentiator of an engagement in a community that no one else wants to do. Our goal really isn't to sell product. It's really to sell a concept, it's to sell an idea, it's to sell a brand. And the idea as we develop a program that engages with young students, young parents to come into the store, that student will shop the store to do their science experiments as they go on into Science Olympiad, Robotics, Science Fair, they'll see the ACE store as a location to buy their components. And, you know, again, it's a hard measure of people wanting to see, well, how many hammers will this sell? And for us, it's never been about how many hammers we're gonna sell in the store. It's about bringing students and families in the store. And if we do this on a repeated basis, we are building the next two generations of customers that will see us as a community business beyond just selling hardware items. There's a study out there that shows statistically 
Whatever business a child at age 14 goes into becomes a, a business that they'll shop as an adult. There's no hardware uh, chain right now that can brag that they are supportive of STEM education. And if anyone questions, well, how do you support STEM education? Through hardware science. Hardware science gets kids back started in the process of critical thinking and doing simple science experiments, where we hope that the student eventually will see that ACE hardware in the community as the science, the science store, the science center in the community. And our, our process with science, hardware science, is we're not trying to replace science education in the school. We're really trying to supplement. And what we're trying to do is get kids back engaged into getting confidence, yeah, that they, they do some science and they're good at science, so that when they go to school, instead of saying, I don't know science and I'm not good at science, they'll say, you know what, I did hardware science and that was fun. I must be a science person. I must know, I must have a little bit of science in me, so that when they go to school and a teacher starts bringing out the subject of science, you can have a student who's a little more focused, who has a little more confidence in what they do. And hardware science, not only necessarily in, in, in hardware stores, but also in our craft stores. And coincidentally, uh, we are working on a secondary program of science crafts that we'd like to eventually launch that's gonna do science, simple science experiments using everyday craft items. So what, what we've done on launching the program was we developed with Jake a series of books of the Wizards Books of Science Secrets. Within each book, there are 25 simple science experiments. And part of our goal is to have the store get engaged in doing demos on a weekly basis. We have a live show that's broadcast every other week, live from Jake's studio, um, that does one of the experiments um, in, a, in a short segment video um, that we wish the stores to turn on, have students come in and watch, as well as do an experiment each week. And in the process, um, get kids to buy the book and start doing their own experiments and doing things at home. Again, with parents' support and the parents' engagement with the students. Um, I think if we can get the ball rolling on this um, in a community, it will lead to a very large change in that child's thinking process, attitude, their vision of, in themselves of their confidence, and then also being able to solve, do problem solving. In conjunction, you know, we're working with ACE now in piloting uh, a, a rotating end cap. Um, what ACE would like to see is more um, product end caps, or I guess what they call component end caps that you're gonna see coming into the stores. ACE stepped in and they developed two end caps. The first end cap was with Elmer's, and it's all of the items you need to do a science fair project, which was the Elmer's trifold board, and a lot of the, the, the lettering and the, the tools to do your science fair project. The second end cap that we did was tied behind Science Olympiad, which happens right after Science Fair. And um, Jenny Kopek, the National Director of Science Olympiad, shared all of the components of next year's challenges that uses whatever hardware items that will be used in next year's challenges. She shared that list. And so the second end cap coming out are all of the components that are geared to Science Olympiad's challenges. And so our goal now is to engage with different organizations and programs and develop a component end cap that will rotate during the year that allows students to come in and shop the store specific behind an ongoing program or an activity and give them reason to come into the store. Why do this program? What are we doing with this program? What's our expectation? And from the get-go, it's always been a passion of, you know, of our company, our family business getting engaged in servicing the community. I've always believed this, you know, we are more than a box selling merchandise to a customer. Um, our, our role in the community is to expand and service a community as broad and as best as we can. Um, I've always felt this, if we're gonna just look at our box as a place where we're selling items at a price, one day we're gonna be overrun. For the people that, that have participated in activities and work with the students, and I, I, you know, I tell people this, um, you know, it's, it's this experience of when you see that light bulb turn on in the, in the eyes or the minds of a child, it's a very rewarding experience. And it's hard to do, it's hard to start, but when you get in that engagement and you see that light bulb go on, um, it's well worth the while. Um, so the other side of the program I always look is, 
You know, part of our mission, our goal in life, is to turn that light bulb on in as many kids' minds as we can. And Hardware Science is a program that I'd like to see us as a company be a pioneer. Um, and beyond being a pioneer in launching this with Stephen Jacobs, is really to take this program national. Um, you know, for us, we've always said, you know, we, what we want to do is we want to be the best operating chain of independent craft and hardware stores in the country. Uh, and we want to be a difference. And I see hardware science as one of those opportunities for us to make a difference, not only in Hawaii, but really beyond um, in the rest of the United States. All of our stores will have a little better understanding, a little more patience, and a little more commitment here to let's launch this and let's do it right, to be that example to Ace Corporate and eventually on an international basis on who we are. And have the pride that, you know, all of this started uh, from a little room in Hawaii with uh, Stephen Jacobs and, and us. Um, so I hope all of us can take it to heart and um, develop it with passion.